afternoon, good evening. Welcome back to Crumpton TV. Someone's, someone's enjoying their birthday. She's shaking her inks at me over there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Leanne makes me laugh so much. Oh, my name is Ben Mosley. Thank you for joining us uh, here on Crafters TV. We have got that Friday feeling. I tell you what, I think we're all a little bit delirious here. I've got to be honest with you. Uh, it's been a long, long couple of days. So many shows, uh, but we are almost into the weekend and we are finishing off your Friday here on Crafters TV with Craft Vault. This is where we open up the vault. We bring you some amazing deals. Um, and actually, we sort of um, previewed the show a little bit earlier on. It's all about your Spectrum Noir products. And what I just want to say from the top here is uh, get in and take advantage of these deals because it's not that often that you see uh, these goodies with a 50% discount. And that is the main kind of headline of this show. Everything you're going to see on this show 50% off, it's a half price deal on everything. So we will um, feature lots of uh, demos and items on the show. We'll recap on uh, lots of other items that we brought to you on the earlier show. But as always, get ahead on the web, see the goodies there, crafterscompanion.com.co.uk and .eu and get stuff into your basket and get it checked out. Loads of hellos to do in just a second, but we need to do the most important hello, first of all, because the queen of Spectrum is in the house. The birthday girl is in the house. Uh, Leanne, happy birthday once again. How are you doing? Thank you. I'm very well, thank you, Ben. And I'm excited about this craft vault because we've got some fabulous stuff haven't we at some ridiculous prices so i'm looking forward to it i think it's going to be good it's going to be awesome you can tell we're going to get messy over that side as well because leanne is aproned up to the max it takes a special kind of person to make that apron look good i should know because i was wearing it earlier on <laughs> uh, but listen get your hellos in get your questions in comments in we had a brilliant show a little bit earlier on on color me happy i know this is a craft fault and it's going to be fast it's going to be furious it's only an hour long but if there's anything that you want to know make them quick fire questions all right so quick fire questions we'll get quick fire answers and we'll try and get in as many as we can over the course of the hour uh, facebook and youtube you can get social with us um, and let's just quickly do a roll call and see who is with us before we get started suzette Suze. uh hi again everyone from uh, canada suzette you won one of the goodie bags on the last show uh sarah brown says hello again okay this has to be a record for me i have not gone to sleep at all and I'm definitely on Crafters TV time, lol. It's now 6 a.m. here in Melbourne, Australia. Listen, we really appreciate the fact that you all love us and you all watch us, but please, for Go goodness sake, get some sleep. I mean, I know Go that we're, we're good here, aren't we? But you need, uh, Leanne's nodding. You, you, Stick with us for a bit, Sarah, but go and get some... Go get to some, bed. Go to bed, honestly. Um, Sam McDonald says, good evening, everyone. Hi, Sam. June says, hello, all of my crafty friends. Hello, June. Jill's in. Noreen's in from cold Florida. Uh, Diana says, hi to all my crafty friends. Fred's in from California. And Carlotta Ewig says, afternoon, everyone, from cloudy MA. Is that Minnesota? I kind of want to say that it is. Right, let's do some pictures for you because we want to get onto the crafty demos that side. We want to get your questions in and uh, get through this hour. So... So let's start with the tri-blends. We saw these a little bit earlier on. Tri-blends, the jewel shade, six-piece collection. These are absolutely brilliant. We love these so much. Six pens within this collection, but of course, the fact that you've got six, it's actually really 18 because you've got the three different hues with uh, the colors that you have got within that collection. Half price deal right across this show. I will not get bored of telling you that. Within the uh, collection here, you've got your dark red, your true blue and coral. You've got your bright pink, your blue turquoise and your pale pink shades. Uh, again, if you want to watch the craft vault from earlier on, Craig was uh, demoing with those, just showing you how great those pens are to allow you to get that perfect blend each and every time. 9.99, 14.97, another 20% off that if you're a platinum member, uh, makes that just a stunning price. Remember, you don't see half price every day on these Spectrum noir goodies sparkle pens we absolutely love uh, this is the nature's trail collection again do exactly what they say on the tin for you just going to add uh, that uh, hint of sparkle to all of your projects again these are normally 25 pounds or 32.95 12.49 or 16.47 today half price fantastic now um, again the metallic pencils you just absolutely lost your minds about earlier on again um, I'll reference you back to the earlier show that uh, Craig and I did at 11 o'clock go and check it out some really great demos on there and the deal still stays the same this is the deal that we brought you earlier on on craft vault for your metallic pencils the deal remains at uh, half price 649 or 747 
27 on those metallics. They are absolutely stunning. Also on a half price deal, you've got your color blends, uh, the soft tints. Look at the prices on these, $7.49 or $9.97 half price across those uh, artist quality blending pencils. Then we've got the uh, classic basics as well. So if you love your classics, uh, maybe you're onto these. Uh, this is a wonderful collection to go for. I mean, come on, $4.99, are you kidding me or what? That is really a say what kind of price. Uh, $7.47 if you're shopping with us in the States. And of course you can then take your 20 percent off that as well to make the price even more bonkers uh, we've also got the aqua tints we're going to be looking at these a little bit later on uh, these are the shades of spring again half price 6.49 or 8.47 um, if you're shopping with us in the us we've got the aqua blend uh, vivid hues I said that earlier i love that word hues nice word to say isn't it you ever find that you get a word that's just nice to say hues Anyway, just me. Uh, 8.49 <laughs> or 11.47 is the deal on those. First time I've seen these actually, uh, the art liners. Uh, these are also half price, so you get a six piece collection with these. Um, if you like doing your doodling, if you're into your, uh, your Zentangle as well, these are absolutely perfect for that. Uh, 6.49 or 8.47. Uh, we've also got the colour tint on the show. This collection is great and a collection again that you're going to see featured um, on this show. We've got a lot to pack into the uh, next hour or so. So those are coming up. 8.49 or 11.47. Um, and uh, we've got the Aqua Pens too. This is the Earth Collection. Uh, again, 6.49 or 8.97. Um, for those now we had uh, some well basically loads of you shopping on uh, the show earlier on and the aqua tint liquid inks this was the uh, afternoon tea collection which has the uh, teacup the biscuit and the macaroon in um, i learned that very quickly from craig because i couldn't read the, uh, the names of the colors earlier and he wouldn't tell me uh, but he was going it's called afternoon tea so what do you reckon that is that begins with a b oh yeah biscuit goes with your afternoon tea 6.49 on 9.97 they are limited stock uh, so grab those quickly before they go um, also half price are your illustrators this is the tones collection um, 6.49 or 11.47 and I tell you what was also really popular earlier on was your uh, metallic markers the uh, Precious Metals Collection, this one is the uh, one that brings you your gold plate, your gold nugget, your burnished copper, your antique bronze, your pewter and your silver ingot. Uh, again, the deal on that is fantastic. Kind of like try me prices on all of these, right? If you've always wanted to have a, a little look at the metallic, you didn't want to kind of push the full price, half price across the board today. So dip your toe in the water on lots of different products from the Spectrum Noir range. And honestly, you won't be disappointed. We're going to kick off with the, uh, the Sparkle, um, liquid ink and do you know what actually when i was looking at the products that we had on the show earlier on i, I didn't kind of think to myself that the uh, christmas collection was going to fly because i thought to myself well do you know what everyone's fed up at christmas aren't they but no this has been flying out the door a quarter of the stock has already gone and actually what you can say about this is yes this is um, a christmas sort of collection it's labeled that but then actually you've got your beautiful um uh, glacé cherry in there your festive spruce and your sleigh bell but honestly it's red gold and um, green, isn't it? So you're going to be using that all year round as well. So savvy shopping, like really. Savvy shopping. 6.49 or 8.47. I've just seen Leanne come, come, singing. Come, 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 come. I'm a chameleon. Red, gold and green. Oh, yeah. You come and go. Is that in the lyrics, is it? Is that in the lyrics? Yes, yes. Yes, come, 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 Red, gold, and green. Come and go. Red, gold, and green. Nothing would be easy if your colours were like my dreams. Oh, yeah. Red, gold, and green. Red, gold, and green. Red, gold, and green. Every day is like survival. Survival. Yeah. Red, gold, and green. Karma chameleon. Oh dear, I tell you what, if we never make it in the world of craft, we can uh, start our own duet, can't we? We absolutely we can. Mm. You can, I'll be the backing singer, you can be the lead singer. <laughs> <laughs> if, if, if you're sure. Uh, <laughs> let's get cracking with some demos on these. First thing to say then, um, for people who are uh, new to these, why might I want the uh, sparkle liquid inks in my crafty um, stash and how do I use them? 
They're so incredibly easy to use. And you're absolutely right, Ben. You would be forgiven for thinking, I don't need those colours of Sparkle Ink in my life because it's a Christmas set. Mm. When actually, don't think Christmas, just think beautiful colours. Because think, think chameleon. Because <laughs> actually, look, this is what we're going to be doing with this set. And if I wiggle this at you, oh, yeah. um, I'm hoping you'll sit there, look. Yeah. Look at that beautiful sparkle in there. On the background, on the stamp sentiment, and on that floral, done with this set. So actually, this could be all about the romance for Valentine's Day coming up this set. Love and that. And it's a really, re I mean, or if, if the, is that £6.49 for all three? Yeah, I'm telling you, that's I mean, what it is. Seriously, don't even think about it. Just get them in the basket and then you're going to love it when you get it home. Now, first thing you're going to do, you see me shaking my inks at the beginning. Oh, I thought we had maracas earlier on. It was the inks. No, it's it? just my inks. Oh. There's got, listen. Can you hear oh, that? That's quite satisfying. Little ball bearings inside, which agitate the microfine glitter into that beautiful liquid dye ink. And you need to give them a shake and just get it activated, shake it to wake it, Love that. so that all that glitter is infused inside. Then you can take your lids off, and we're just going to start painting with it straight away. You need to do nothing else. And I've got a piece of watercolour cardstock here, and the first thing I'm going to do is the background. So I'm going to use my red one, and we're going to make this lovely background, and it is not any more difficult than take the ink from the pot and paint it onto the card. Ooh. And what you get is beautiful, intense, vibrant, infused, deep, rich colour. It's gorgeous. Now, when you first put it on at home, don't be looking at it and thinking, Phew, well, mine isn't sparkly. Because when it's wet, you can't see the sparkle yeah. as well as when it's dry. You need to dry it um, to be able to wake up and see that lovely sparkle in there. So I've gone halfway with my ink straight from the pot. Now what I'm going to do is just take a tiny little bit of water. And when I say tiny little bit, I'm just tipping my brush inside. And then I'm going to drag this the rest of the way up. Ooh. And I don't need to go back into the ink pot at all. I just keep getting a little bit of water, picking up some of the sparkle from there. Yeah. And taking it further up the card and it builds me a lighter ombre. And you can see it's starting to go from the cherry red all the way up to the lovely oranges as I brush it on the card as I go, just tipping it, just move this so you can see it here, just tipping it in the water slightly, just the tip of my brush. Yeah. And that just kind of wakes up that water-based ink and lets you move all the way up here. Do you let, do you let this then dry naturally? Um, you can let it dry naturally, and when you let it dry naturally, you'll get no different result to if you use a heat gun. Okay. So you can put that to one side and get that's on with the lush. next bit if that's what you'd like to do. Yeah. Or you can equally take out your heat gun and force it dry if you would like to. Depends whether you're patient or not. It's entirely up to you. How are we feeling tonight? In a bit and, of a and hurry? And it depends or? how you're feeling. Mm. Really. <coughs> We've got a little tickle. So I'm going to give it a quick blast. Um, and then I'm going to put it to one side while we do the next bit. So I think you will agree that was very quick and easy. And if I just wiggle this at you, you're starting to be able to see the glitter now because it is drying. Can you see that there? Oh, yes. Look at that there, just caught. Put it to your right again. Did My it? right again. Uh, there, there it you is. Go. Look, Look at, at that. that. And it's all the way up. And that sparkle, when you get that home and you get the daylight on it, it is absolutely, it's, mind-blowingly gorgeous it mm. is intense it's not a subtle sparkle at all it is off the chart fabulous so i'm just going to clean my little desk up goes to show as well actually just whilst the air's cleaning yeah clean that make sure you clean it nicely because I, I give that a good scrub this morning <laughs> uh i'll what? be leaving that for you to get on with later oh thank you yeah you can get your apron back on and get your gloves on pet and get this washed that's hey, what you can do pet i love that pet if pet, I'm out the door at one minute past eight, I'll tell you that much, <laughs> I'm gone. You won't see me for dust. If there's any clearing up to do tonight, it'll not be me, I'll tell you that much for nothing. What was I going to say? Oh yeah, just going to say, the 30 mil, again, if you look at this and think, well, they're quite small pots. That's a great demonstration of actually how far a little goes, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. These will last you such a long time. It's such rich dye infused with all of that glitter. A tiny little bit goes an awful long way. I mean, in terms of how much is in here, there's almost 10 times the volume that we put in one sparkle pen. Mm -hmm. So it's like 10 pens worth in one yeah. pot. So if you think it's 10 pens worth in one pot, you're getting three pots for £6.49. 30 sparkle pens ink worth in those three jars. 
that tells you what a good value for money that is in terms of getting bang for your book, Ben. That is more than good. I mean, it's an unbelievable value for money it's deal. Fantastic. So that's why you definitely need them to get them in your basket. Um, do you always have to shake them every time you use them? Or are you shaking them because they're new out the packet? I like to, as you're using them, keep giving them a little shake oh, or an right. agitate. Because it just, the glitter is, the microfine glitter is um, heavier than the liquid. And so the glitter will naturally want to sink to the bottom. So if I turn over, I shook them all at the same time. And if I turn that brown one for you now, you can see that that glitter is already sinking to the bottom. And if I shake that up again, look how the colour's changed. Uh, the glitter's yeah. infused again. So you either need a little cocktail stick to keep stirring it, or just keep giving it a little shake. Now I've got um, a rubber stamp, and I'm just taking a tiny bit of thing. You notice I'm never dipping my brush to the bottom and touching the bottom of the pot. I'm literally touching the top of the ink with my brush. That's all I'm doing, because you need a tiny bit. And then I'm going to brush this onto uh, this rubber stamp. Okay. This is one of my favourite, favourite techniques. And those of you who've been uh, following Crafter's Companion for a long time, you might have been to Crafter Ganza, you will know that this is one of the demonstrations where I say to you, if you want to look like a pro and you just want to, and you want to look like a pro in 30 seconds, this is the demonstration for you. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to do the same with the green. Oh, okay. Um, just tipping it so you can see hardly any on there at all and then just painting that over the leaves at Do you the not same worry time. about getting the sparkly bits kind of in the stamp? No, you want that. You, would, you want to encourage it. They'll just wash off. Oh, okay. They won't stick in the little, the little grooves and spaces. They will wash off later with some water, mm -hmm. with a spritzer. So it won't spoil anything. So we're just putting a little bit on there, dragging it over and then we are, we're ready to go. So, first things first, then I'm just going to move my little pots out the way. We're going to do the very technical technique of a hoof. A what? A hoof. A what? Hoof. Have you never seen a hoof, Ben? What, as in, I am in a huff? A hoof, H-U-F-F. -F. I will huff and I'll puff and uh, I'll blow yeah, that house that, down, Ben. I've never seen, I mean, I, I know what a huff is, as in, yes, but I've never seen a huff in the world of okay. craft, no. So, it's as you would expect. Right. <sighs> oh. A hoof. I'd say that was more of a... I, I thought a, a huff is more of a... Ha. Huh. <sighs> oh, very good. Mm. I don't think I can do that. Very good, though. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and what that does is give it enough moisture from your breath to be able to get that incredible result right there. Now, two different things you can do here. I like to, at this point, give this a little dry. Yeah. Because if I don't, the next bit will splodge too much. Right. So I give it a little dry, and then what I do is, not too much, because I still want the colour to move, then all you do is you take your water pot again, you dip your brush in, um, and this time I've got one of those lovely little round brushes, not the big background type. Take most of the water off on some kitchen towel, so you see I'm draining it off, I'm not drying it, I'm just taking the saturation away, and then all you do is pounce your brush, Pounce? Pounce. <laughs> pounce, 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 pounce. So I'm dabbing, if you like. I'm not, I'm not rubbing it around. Yep. I'm doing a vertical, jumpy action. Pouncing Pounce. and huffing in this demonstration. You know, like, if you, imagine your brush is jumping on the bed. Oh, right, okay, yeah, uh-huh. Up and down, or jumping on a trampoline. Yeah, I like the jumping on the bed analogy more. Yeah, well, I mean, you do when you're kids, don't you? But As I so said, I've done go. that for a few years. If I did um, that on my bed. Pouncing it up and down. Yeah. What that does is pick enough colour up from the lines that have been stamped. Yeah to move that around and give you a watercoloured effect, but it leaves it looking incredibly painterly. Ha! Huh. And so you look like an absolute pro in 30 seconds. And when you dry it, all of the glitter shines in all of the lines. It's absolutely beautiful. And I'm not even finished with this yet, Ben. There's so much more you can do with it. So that's the first stamp. I haven't put any more ink on here. That's what I've just stamped this image with. No more ink has been added. I've got some more pieces of watercolour cardstock here. And I'm going to find my spritzer. Where's it got? Here it is here. Found it. Has it got water in? Yes. And all I'm going to do now is spritz. And so this is like, you know when you go, well, you might not, but you, your wife will know. When you go in a department store yeah. and they catch you with the perfume they when you, you walk they get past. You. They get you and they go like that. And they get you. Do they do that face as well? They do, just like that. And they get you when you're walking past. <laughs> and sometimes it gets you in the eye and you're really cross. Oh, yeah. 
Well, that's what you need to do here. You need to do the perfume waft with yep. your spritzer because you want a little bit of water, not loads. Yeah. So to do your perfume waft, you're going to do that. Do the face as well. Okay, ready? Yeah. <laughs> little bit of ink on there. So I've just got enough moisture and then I can get another Aye. stamped impression. And another perfume waft. Yeah. And another... <laughs> you can't see Leah's face that time. I'm, I'm enjoying all of this. <laughs> another stamped impression. Yeah. So there's three card toppers. I haven't re-inked this. This is all the same first amount of ink. Another perfume waft. So this is like third gen now, isn't it? Yeah. This is the third, fourth, fourth gen. generation. Unbelievable. Another one, another one. How many are you going to get out of this? You're going to run out of uh, cards in a minute. You could get to eight to ten. I'm going to stop in a minute because I'm going to run out of card. But I've had up to eight to ten out of this. There's another one. I reckon you And I more. could get another four from that wow. easily. So you can just keep going. And then what you would do is just give them a quick little dry. Um, or if you want to go for a really fancy effect and look like a real... A grungy mixed media artist who's incredibly cool and knows what they're doing. Yeah. You can spritz the image. Now, when I spritz this, the ink will start to move. And it, did Ooh. you see? It? Look yeah. at that! Isn't that look fabulous? Look at it! It starts to move on the thing, <gasps> and it looks gorgeous. I love it. But if you go closer, you can force. Look at that! <gasps> a more beautiful explosion image. That is. Isn't that? And then you just dry it, and it stops moving, and it looks incredibly. Artsy. Do another one. Look, and you Whoa. look like, like in 30 seconds, look, four toppers in less than a minute by using that. And then you would lay them up on your gorgeous glittery background that you've made, which look, I mean, look, see now that that's drying, you can see all of the intense glitter on there. And that's all that's happened to make this incredible little project. I mean, that was brilliant. I know we're not doing a demo of the show on them, our uh, craft faults, but... Oh, if... come on, that's not fair. That's the demo of the show right there. That's the winner on Sunday. Should we, should we sneak it up? Yeah, let's sneak it up. I, I think we should definitely sneak it up. It was my birthday. Up. I can do what I like. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm authorising that. That one's going up here as well. We just won't tell Joe what it's all about. We'll just whack it up there and he can work it out for himself. For that one, that was from... Yeah, the, yeah whatever. Um... That was amazing. What, what a great demonstration. Like crafting like an absolute professional, just with a bit of wafting, with a bit of huffing and a bit of pouncing. When you've got this collection, so versatile. Love the fact that we're doing these quick fire demos. And that is why I think the Karma Chameleon collection is flying out of the door. 649, 847, half price deal on this. A few comments very quickly, because there's loads of you watching. I love this, that you're sticking with us right throughout the day on this new schedule. Uh, the new schedule is unbelievable, says Rosalind Crafters TV all day. Then we've got loads of happy birthdays for Leanne, from uh, Laurie, from KK, uh, Vicky, saying hello again for the fifth time, loving the new schedule, uh, not sure of the hubby. Uh, not sure the hubby is though. Uh, ha ha. Uh, Debbie saying hi everyone. Looking forward to the demos and products in action. And there's so much love for that last demonstration as well. Um, loads of lovely comments coming in and uh, lots of people saying that they're smiling on the show as well. Uh, Aisha saying, um, I needed a smile. Thank you for making me laugh and smile. That is what we're here for. So many comments. I'll read some more of those out very uh, shortly indeed. But we want to get on with uh, the demos, of course, because we've only got, well, I say we've only got an hour. We've only got about half an hour now. Um, the Aqua Tint Shades of Spring is what we're going to look at next. Uh, 6.49 or 8.47 for this um, beautiful little collection. You're going to get your pink champagne, your soft jade um, and your uh, moonlight within this collection. Um, if, if it's um, any other items that you're interested in, the metallics particularly, by the way, any of the metallic pencils or the metallic um, pens that we've got on the show, have a look uh, back at the earlier show because you will see those demonstrated with Craig when we did the show earlier on this morning at 11 o'clock. So there's lots more that you can go back on. But all of these deals across the earlier show, across this show as well, everything is half price. That's, that's all you've got to remember. It's a super time to dip your toe in the water and try some of these Spectrum Noir products out. I mean, for goodness sake, just doing a quick little demo on those beautiful um, sparklings there. Why would you not want those in your crafty stash? Um, let's take a look at these then. So the Aqua Tints, the, uh, the Shades of Spring. What are you going to show us with these, Leanne? So these are little pots. Aqua Tints are... 
Um, all of the techniques that you see do with a sparkle, you can do with these aqua tints. Uh, they just do not have the glitter in. So if you're a person who thinks, oh, do you know what, I'm just not a glittery crafter, and there are some of you out there, um, and you don't like glitter in your craft, and you do like things which are um, a little more grungy or mixed media, or a little more uh, flat and plain, you don't want that glitter, then these aqua tints are perfect for you, because these are just like a liquid watercolour in a pot. All the high intensity that you've got in terms of the vivid colour, the lay down, the application, the technique, everything the same. Fantastic value for money again. And actually the same ink that we have in our aqua marker and our aqua pen. So all of the techniques that you can do with those, exactly the same. The quality's there. You've just got a different delivery method with opens up different techniques for you. So what I've got here is two stamped backgrounds. We're just going to do them in a couple of different ways where I'm going to use the aqua tint. You don't need to shake these, you don't need to prime them or anything else because it's the pure liquid watercolour in here. So you're just picking up the ink directly from the pot, not having to worry about anything. Just to double check because I'm getting a bit confused here because I've got the pens over here and you've got the pots. Oh. Yeah. Shades of spring. I've got shades of spring pots. What should I have? Well, I've got the shades of spring pens. Would you like me to do them instead? We can do. do you want, yeah, should I, I pinch them? Shall I chuck them over to you? Yes, please. I oh, just... I, I've got some. Hang on. I think have I've got, got some, some here. Well, yes. I, I tell you what, whilst you grab those, let yes. me read out some more comments. I just, just think for a second now. Sort of Sorry. Said, no, that's fine. It's absolutely fine. Um, we, we have obviously got the, the pots, but it's the pens that we've got on the show. So we will look at those in just a second. Um, but let me just read a few more comments coming out here. Lots of love for the sparkle inks. Uh, creations by Miss on YouTube says, I love using those sparkle inks. They are fab. Uh, and Laurie saying, Leanne's demos are the best. She always shares so much about what the product is and how to best use it. Technical and extremely helpful. My favourite demonstrator. There we are. Um, and just lots of love for that last demo as well. So I think if there was to be a demo um, of the show, it definitely deserves its place on a little crafty walk of fame. We did have some questions coming in, which will fire Leanne's way um, in just a mo. But let's have a look at these uh, pens, though. So, so the, the same sort of ink is in the pens as, and in the pots, but in the pots is obviously just more ink. Exactly the same, just more in. So yeah. you need to use your paintbrush and dip it in with those. The colours are the same, the application's the same. I've still got the two stamp backgrounds and the result that we get is going to be exactly the same. So these will work in just the same way. You just have a different, uh, more convenient application method because your brush is incorporated. You don't need an additional brush necessarily. Okay. So to um, activate these, what you would do is screw off the top when you get it, and there's a little yellow ring in here, yep. mine are already activated. You take off the yellow ring, screw this back on, gently push so your ink starts to move through. You don't squeeze, gently push. Your ink will move into the fibres and then you're ready to go. Okay. So you don't waste any ink. And then what you can do is keep a gentle push on and you just apply Ooh. that with the brush directly to the cardstock. And it's no different from picking that up from the pot with the bigger brush as I was going to do earlier. So it's very easy to do. And I'm just brushing this over the background to get that really lovely um, bright colour. And that is a brush nib like a little like a little paintbrush nib. It is. Yeah. Yes, absolutely it is. Mm, glorious, that isn't it? And then I've got the green. So I'm just making a nice ombre background. And you see yeah. I can go over the yellow and I can get a nice little transition there. So I'm just getting the colour down and then I will go over this with a, a dryer brush just to smooth it all out. And then because there's coral in the sea, I can have a little bit of the peach down here if I want to. So I can do all of the colours and I can have a little bit of that up here. Why not? Have a little bit of a sunset coming through the, um, shining through the water. Love it. It's nice and easy crafting, isn't it? Do you know what? I love these, this kind of watercolour technique, because all you need is a little bit of watercolour cardstock, yeah. um, some stamps like this, and your pens, and you're making beautiful backgrounds uh, really quickly and easily, and it's, you know, it's that quick, instant gratification. When your crafty mojo has got up and gone, <laughs> and you're not quite sure what you want to do, then you know, this is absolutely perfect. Now, do you see what happened there when I brushed it over? It just smoothed that blend mm. in beautifully. And I'm going to clean my brush off because I don't want any orange down here. And then the same with the yellow to the green, just with a dry, you know, almost dry brush. Just give it a flick over and then it just gets that smooth blend for you. Give it a little, a little half dry. You don't want it fully dry because we're going to do... Remember when we... I don't know if everybody watched the... Um, 
ink pad master cut not ink pad color me happy yeah we've just done you know we did the four bleaching with mm -hmm. the harmony water reactive you can do exactly the same with these so i've just given that a little dry so i don't lift too much away clean water pot now and my kitchen towel that's brilliant the i love flip. the way that you get the blend in there as well oh, it's, it's lovely awesome. and those three colors you wouldn't have thought those three colors no. would blend together beautifully i mean it looks it looks exquisite doesn't it um, and so I've just squished on there, uh, flicked, flicked my water on. And then as I four bleach that up, what that does is give it a really lovely under the sea feel where you can see it looks like there's real movement in the water. It looks like there's coral in the background and it's looking really gorgeous, isn't it? And that's really very, very quick and very easy to do, Ben. And then when you chop it up, what you get is this. Oh, amazing. Look, so there you go. Exactly what I've done there. No different. There you go. Talk about, again, crafting like a pro in uh, absolutely next to no time at all. Tell you what I want to do is um, just give you detail on the um, metallics that we've got. Then we'll fire some questions the hands away and we'll get onto another demo. But if you want to go for the Shades of Spring, remember it's the pens that uh, we've got on this show. So those are the pens that you're going to get. But you can see it's exactly the same ink. And actually, it's, I think it's quite nice that you've got them in pen form. You've got that beautiful uh, brush applicator there as well. And you can see just how easy it is to be able to create and get that gorgeous blend of colour. Pink champagne, soft jade and your moonlight included 649 it's a try me price for an amazing product half price right across this show now um, as i mentioned earlier a little bit earlier on we did uh, the craft vault but we we featured uh, some of the other items that you're not going to see in full on this show so if you want to go back and watch craig's demos i urge you to do it because it was really really good once again um, the metallic pencils were so so popular um love this collection Again, the fact that you're getting all of these for 6.49 or 7.47 is just phenomenal. Um, so many great demos that Craig showed us. So you're getting this full collection, which brings you your light blue, green, purple, silver, gold, and rose gold, nickel, violet, blue, uh, your mica, your pink, and your yellow. And just take a look here. This little um, card just shows you that metallic gleam that you are able to get with these pencils. Honestly, it's kind of like a try me price where you're getting really top quality professional pencils that allow you to do things like this. Look how that, look at that, that's phenomenal, isn't it? How that catches the light. It is just super. And as I say, Craig showed us some really cool techniques and great ideas of ways to be able to use these on the earlier show. So do make sure uh, that you tune in to that. But uh, 649 or 747 is the deal on these just gorgeous even from that distance you can see uh, that metallic really coming to the fore 649 or 747 is the deal on those as i say if you've um, perhaps wondered, shall I, shan't I get into Spectrum Noir? Shall I uh, invest in the metallic um, pencils or markers, whatever it might be? Today is the chance because it's like a try me price. Even when you take your platinum off, that it comes down, but that comes down about another like one pound thirty, doesn't it? It's about five pound ten uh, for the metallic pencils. We do have the um, pens available for you as well. Um, really, really popular. There's, um, there's three different ranges with these. The ones that we've got on this show on the half price deal is the uh, precious metals. So once again, gorgeous. You've got your, um, your double ended um, pens with this. So you've got kind of like your, uh, your bullet nib and it's like your thicker nib and, uh, with this as well. Again, Craig did some super demos with these a little bit earlier on, um, using them straight onto his stamps, wasn't he? I think I'm just trying to remember some of the demos that he did, um, using his brushes with these as well, but absolutely gorgeous. And again, you can see that metallic sheen that you can achieve with those gold plate, gold nugget, your burnished copper, antique bronze, your pewter and your silver ingot um, are the six that you're going to receive within that collection. They're $5.99 or $8.47. Um, if you want to pop those into your basket, I would urge you to do it because as I say, it's not very often that we do a show where it's half price across the board on everything that is uh, Spectrum Noir. Uh, we're going to take a look at the colour tints um, just now as well. They're coming up at 8.49 or 11.47 for the primary collection. I do just quickly want to um, get these questions asked. Ba -ba 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 -ba. We saw them briefly. Um, and it's the first time I've seen them actually, and Laurie wants to know on YouTube, what are the uses for the art liners that we've got on the show? Yeah, so art liners are fantastic if you want to um, 
try some hand drawing yourself. So if you want to draw your own images and then alcohol colour them, they're brilliant for that because they are a alcohol proof marker. So with the art liner you can draw and then colour with alcohol marker over and the lines won't smudge. Um, they're brilliant for doing your brush lettering so for being able to do that and if you're into Zentangle they are perfect for that because you've got that really fine nib on the very fine ones. They're also amazing for journaling and scrapbooking so a beautiful handwriting in there to do your journaling if that's what you want to do and also the little bits of doodling that you get around the edges of stamps and things brilliant for doing your doodle and for your little lines they're really fabulous these are all images that have been drawn by my amazing design team um in house with the art lines hand drawn Stacey. with the art liner by stacy yeah. yes absolutely gorgeous so there you go laurie hopefully that answers the question there for you uh, 649 for that collection and another question here from um serena who says uh, leanne would you recommend creating a background with the sparkle ink before or after using dyes or embossing folders um, and what would be the best to preserve the glitter um, either really it's your preference if you want a nice flat look like that red one I did and then you want to emboss then put the ink on first if you emboss first and then put your um, ink on what will happen is the glitter will naturally fall into the peaks and trough of the embossing so you'll get some glitter pooling more intensely in some places and not as much in others uh, as the liquid flows into the you know the the highs and lows of the embossed piece so it's up to you the effect you want to to achieve i would say do the same embossing folder one before one after decide which one you like keep that in a little folder and then you know for the future if you're die cutting sentiments and painting them always do the die cutting first because then you don't waste your ink if you if you paint the piece of card first and then die cut it all of that waste goes in the bin mm. you've wasted your good ink so i would always die cut the piece first and then paint it if you're doing your glitter but for your background try both because you'll get a different effect lots of lovely comments coming in let me just quickly read a few of these before we move on to our next demo uh marilyn pico on youtube saying um, i'm a sparkle ink fanatic so beautiful laurie saying i'm so amazing Amazed by Leanne, she has me in stitches. Me too, me too. Um, and lots of lovely comments saying, absolutely love Leanne's style of crafting, says Carol. What a great way, says Will, to spend the Friday evening. Love all the demos and the inspiration. And Maureen Hager saying, hi again, what fabulous demos, Leanne. So talented and explains everything so clearly. My favorite comment though comes from Penguins888888 on YouTube saying, oh, love the techniques. Um, can't wait to try it out. No, well, I do like that comment. What was the other one? Somebody was mentioning about all of your um, complicated terms that you use, like huff and pounce. I've lost the comment now, but someone was saying uh, they love it how you explain it so clearly. Just give it a little huff, little pounce, and you're away. That's all it is. It's so easy. And I think, you know, sometimes you can overcomplicate things mm. and use really technical words when actually a simple word communicates the action or the thing that you need to do. And I really just love to make things very easy and very accessible. Our products are fantastic. They're incredibly easy to use. And all of the things that I'm doing here, I'm not an artist by any stretch of the imagination. I can't draw to save my life. My husband is. He's a phenomenal artist. I am in awe what he can achieve. What I can do is colour and, and make things easy and accessible. Um, and you can do all of this because it really isn't hard when you've got the right product. And you've certainly got lots of right products on this show. We're going to um, have a look at the colour tints right now. So 8.49 or 11.47 for the primary collection. Tell us about these, Liam. So these are fabulous watercolour pencils, these colour tints. So they're like our Aqua Blend, a watercolour pencil. All of the techniques that you can do with Aqua Blend, you can do with these colour tints, but they've got a more muted, graphite, grungy, grown-up, masculine feel to them. Um, they're, re they're more muted in tone, but absolutely stunning and beautiful. The best way I can describe this to you or demonstrate it for you is to colour um, one of the pencils down. And I'm actually using here deep mauve. And mm -hmm. so with my deep mauve pencil, I'm going to scribble this down. And you're going to say, Leanne, come on. There's deep. no deep mauve about that. Leanne, come on. There's no deep mauve about that. Exactly, Ben. That just looks like a very dark grey. Yeah. Except for when you add some water. And then it comes alive. There it is. And changes colour completely. And all of the pencils in here will do the same thing. So if I take the olive, for example, mm -hmm. and pop the olive down there, 
that's got more of an olive feel to it yeah. certainly when I put it down that's not too bad you know you can see where it's at however add the water and it really wakes yeah, that colour up for you to do your watercolour technique but you can see they're very muted very um, understated but uh, very beautiful as well there is a place for this in your watercolour stash uh, to save you having to try and mix all of these colours yourself and you can see just how they wake up and come to life and the colour changes completely. So every time you're using these pencils then, are you creating like your own little mini palette and then... Yeah, you are. It's exactly how you use absolutely, them, Absolutely, yeah? Ben. Yeah, mm. absolutely. Now, simple, 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 simple to use. So I'm going to start with this lovely russet colour yeah. to do our little field mouse here. And all you do is add a little bit of colour. You see, this is not different, this is a stamped image. And I'm putting little strokes of colour around the periphery of the mouse and not lords just little bits here and there okay so just little whispers of color yeah and then i'm going to take another one just to tone that down and actually the more colors you put on they then all just mix in and make a new color for you so you can overlay them you don't have to stick with one color at a time just pop that down and you know you be absolutely right when you look at you think well that's not looking very good leanne what have you done? That's not looking very good, Liam. What have you done? Exactly, Ben. Oh, dear. Um, and then all you do is take, like I did here, yeah. a damp brush, and then just agitate that colour out. Now the magic and happens. So, and exactly as you say, the magic happens. The colour comes to life, and then just as you move into the centre of the mouse, you start to build up that water-coloured look, where you've got the darker colour around the outside, and then the lighter colour on the inside and your little mouse and anything that you're colouring does start to just come to life and you can build up those colours as well so if I wanted to put a little bit more of a darker colour in there what I can do is tip the colour off my pencil with my brush Oh, okay. and I can go in and add more depth where I would like it I just tip the colour off I might need a little bit more water watercolour made easy isn't it oh it's so incredibly easy it really is there we go you see i can start to build up the depth of color wherever i want it That's now great. the other thing i can do because these are pencils when that dries is give it some texture yeah i'll just give it a quick dry hey little mouth I've just had flashbacks to um, in between the show there where we were all, I don't know how we all got onto it, but th there, was, there was myself, there was uh, Leanne, there was Laura and uh, Tracy all um, comparing pictures of our uh, furry babies. We were. Uh, I, don't, I don't know how that all happened. But it was... I don't know how it happened. Um, oh, I, th I think Laura introduced me to Otis on oh, Instagram. Oh, yeah. Otis Mac, Mac Bunny Face. Follow him. I mean, he's the cutest little bunny you've ever seen. And then we all got comparing, didn't we? Yeah, and we were comparing pictures of dogs, uh, cats, uh, owls. Barn owls. Don't red even Red-footed tortoises. Red-footed tortoises from Mexico. Uh, what other animals were there? I mean, oh, ferrets there as well. There's ferrets, yes. Our Tracy, um, who, who works uh, very hard behind the scenes for us, she's got a veritable zoo going on at her house, seriously. I guess she could, like, you know start charging people to come and see all the animals that she's got there after lockdown ends. Yes, we're going to call her Mrs Doolittle. <laughs> Mrs Doolittle, yeah. Oh, and by the way, if you want to meet um, Otis McBunny face, he has got his own Instagram. But, um, Laura, when were you on um, Wake Up Call with Craig? Or was that on Wednesday? So you can go back and watch Wednesday's show, because um, that's when uh, Otis... Uh, did feature my dog Mac featured on Monday as well. Leanne was oh. on the show today. We've all been on the we've all been on the big show, the big new show. Oh, we've all been on it. I'll tell you what, mine Minnie and Tink are feeling a bit left out. Minnie and Tink. Minnie and Tink. Oh well, yeah, maybe yeah, maybe you should. I mean, yeah. I mean, I live local. Maybe I can actually bring Minnie and Tink in. Br yes, I definitely think you should do that. I think I should just bring Minnie and Tink in. I think yeah, I think you should do I'm it. I'm going to do it Monday. Yeah. Um, Fred has just messaged apparently, Fred, come on, uh, saying, what, what's the message? Oh, I iguanas, question mark. I'm not going to fall for that one again. You are meanies, a lot of you. Did you hear about that one? No. So the, on the show the other day with Sarah, mm -hmm. um, I don't know how we got onto it, but someone mentioned uh, iguana. Iguana. Iguanas. 
and I read it because I, for 41 years I have actually thought, and no one's corrected me, that it was pronounced Iguana. Oh, and bless. Sarah was in absolute stitches and she just, well, she, she, she took the mickey out of me royally. I got absolutely rinsed. Yeah, I did. Um, I never knew for 41 years I've been saying Iguana and then no one ever corrected me. Well, do you know, I'm going to share with you uh, and um, Laura will tell you, I didn't know that the, um, and of course it's coming back to alcohol again, Ben, mm. um, that the fake champagne, yeah. Freshenay, was, was pronounced Freshenay. I thought it was Frexinet. Right, well I'm just going to come out and tell you this now. I thought, is that the one that's F-R-E-I-X-F? Frexinet. Frexinet, it's Freshenay. The posh bottle. It's called Freshenay. Freshenay. And so I said, we were talking, I was talking about it with Joe and Laura, Joe Remblance and Laura, and I said, I I'm going to have some of that. I'm going to have some Frexinet when I get in. And they both just looked at me. They weren't going to say anything, but I could tell by the face. I thought, what's happened there? And then Joe said, Chips, I can't let you have that one. It's not called Frexinet, it's Freshenay. Uh, and they, they have not let me forget that, Ben. Well, I tell you what, when I, when I get home a little bit later on, I'm going to have a nice glass of Frexinet and I'm going to watch a programme about iguanas. Good for you. Freshenay? You just, yeah, Freshenay. I never knew that. And um, I'll also help you feel a little bit better, Ben. Yeah. Because when, um, when we launched the new studio, um, I, I was in your shoes. I mean, I did, a, yeah? I did a dismal job for, of it, I have to say. No, I'm Sarah was in my shoes and I was in your shoes. Yeah. And one of the, one of the, as you do reading your iPad, the lovely people who sent it through, I thought they would spell check it. And I was, I was listening, talking, reading. I mean, it's not easy, is it, Ben? It's not easy what I do. I'm, I mean, I make it look easy. Somebody had put in, I really like that, Ventura Pearl. And I just read it out. Sarah has not let me forget that. The Venture Repel. She said, Chips, you're supposed to correct it before you read it out. It's Venture Repel. I'm like, I know it's Venture Repel, but she said you've just read out Venture Repel. It's like, um, it's like, what's it called? Um, what's that, sh uh, that movie? Uh, just read whatever's. What's that movie with um, Will, what's his name? Will oh, Ferrell. Anchorman. Anchorman, I so love if it. There, if it's there, you know, just, just yeah. read it out as is. Yeah, you've got to be careful. There's been a couple of times when I've um, started reading stuff on here and you think, what, what does that say again? Uh, but anyway. Uh, well, what, what, how did we get on to talking about that? Oh, yes. Yes. We went from animals to iguanas. I mean, or, to iguanas, on to freshen in. Venture repel. To, uh, to venture repel. Yeah. So I've just added my colours and then adding a little bit of water. And as you build up now, did you notice while we were having a little chat there, I had a dry pencil when I dried it. And then what you do with the dry pencil is you just flick over the top and that gives texture to the fur. And then when you've added all the colour, this is what you can achieve with those graph tint pencils. They're really lovely, aren't they? And you just keep adding the layers as I was doing. Use the blue, scribble a little bit of blue in the background, move it with your brush, and you've got that really lovely result. And it gives you that nice, muted, um, earthy feel to your creations, I think. Just a couple of quick ones that relate to that. Wendy Woodhouse wants to know what, the, what card you were using for that demo there. Watercolour card. Anything where I'm going to use water and use a watercolour medium, always watercolour card. And Alex McCauley on Facebook wants to know, Leanne, what is the difference between colour blend and colour tint? So, colour blend is a wax-based pigment pencil, does not move with water. You use the colours of the pencil to layer up and mix new colours. Works brilliantly over the top of an alcohol marker. Colour tint is a water-based, a watercolour pencil. Exactly as you've just seen, you put the pencil down, you use water, it moves the colour around. Um, so, colour blend, wax-based, will not move with water. Colour tint, water-based, does move with water. Oh, and one more quick one that's just come in. I know uh, we need to wrap up because uh, we've, we've only got unbelievably 10 minutes. Uh, Heidi says, do I remember correctly that the metallic pencils can go over the alcohol inks to give a metallic highlight? Correct. Good. There we go. <laughs> I love that. No need to say anymore. Just correct. Um, loads of love for the uh, the demos that we've seen. Hannah Law on Facebook saying, I love the magic of the watercolour pencils. Uh, magical, says Will. Love it. Uh, lots of love coming in for the idea of uh, Minnie and Tink making a um, an appearance in the studios. Um, Susie T saying, happy birthday again, Leanne. Thank you so much for spending the day with us and teaching us so many fabulous techniques. Thank you. And uh, Juta on Facebook says, you two really made my day. Great demos and explanations. 
Thank you. Well, thank you for sticking with us uh, right throughout the day. We are coming towards the end of our day. We've got about nine minutes to go, so get a, get a move on those. For goodness sake, stop rabbiting on. Uh, the Colour Tint Spectrum Noir uh, Primary Collection, which are here, are available to you, yes, on that half price deal. Everything half price on this show. Don't forget, $8.49 or $11.47. Some gorgeous colours within that collection, uh, including your rust, your vintage rose, your leaf green, olive, ocean, blueberry, and more. Gorgeous. Right. Let us move on to, oh yes, the aqua pen. So we're gonna take a look at the, that was quite, what was that all about? Uh, we're going to uh, look at the, um, the aqua pen. So this is the earth collection. Uh, six colors you're gonna get here, your sage, you've also got your bramble and tawny, your flint, your peat, and your clay. Absolutely gorgeous, these. So again, your chance to uh, enjoy the effects of watercolour um, with a kind of like the control that you've got with the marker. These are double-ended as well, of course, don't forget. You've got your brush and your ultra-fine tip with these two. And again, a great way to give these a go today because you're not having to pay full price. You get all six of those for just $6.49 or $8.97. So again, I know I ask this question quite a lot, but I'll ask it again. So we've obviously got the, um, the, the, the uh, pencils that you can do the watercolour with. Once again, you've got the pens. Pros and cons of pens and pencils, different uses for them? Um, so your pens, a different, different application, different use. Your pens you can do, as I'm going to show you, all of your different backgrounds and techniques. You know, it's a very um, movable medium and it's dye-based. So dye-based is man-made, which means it's not light fast. So if you're going to be making a piece of fine art that you want to hang on the wall in your conservatory for the next 10 years, you wouldn't do it with an aqua marker. Right. Um, however, Aqua Blend, which is the coloured pencil, they're made with a pigment. Pigments and the pigments we use are fantastic and have light fatness, fastness to them, which is why all of the fine art pieces were painted with pigment back in the day and are still hanging on gallery walls. So you can do a piece of fine art to hang on the wall with a pigment, but not necessarily with a dye. Um, and so pencils are better for that. You'll get more light fastness and you get more detailed application with them. Excellent stuff. Um... We're going to have a look at the uh, the aqua pens, the earth pen, six forty nine, eight ninety seven. We've got. What can you show us in about five minutes? I'm going to. I'm going to be. It was going to be fast, Oof. which is highly unlike me. Um, right. So first things first. The couple of different ways you can do a background. You can just scribble straight onto your cardstock. So I can just take my pens and scribble, scribble, scribble. So I'm just taking a few colours from this set, and I love this set because it is very earthy. Oh and very muted and you can see i'm exactly doing what i said you are literally I am just scribbling. scribbling i am scribbling mm. um and putting down color and then what you would do after that is spritz and saturate so i've got my spritzer use the spritzer the colors will start to move together and then what you can do is take your brush Give it a good old pounce around <laughs> and then leave it to dry. Yeah. That's one way of doing a background. What I've just realised is that spritzer there had some clear sparkle ink in. Ooh. So I've actually got now a sparkly background. What's which not to is love fantastic. about that? Yeah, brilliant. So that's one way of doing a background. The next way, which actually is my preferred way, and the way I've done this one I'm about to show you, is to um, scribble onto your mat. So take your pen. Scribble your ink down, and again, it literally is Ben scribbling. Don't worry about you know what you're scribbling or where. This is my just kind of craft. Just get pick up and ink scribble. Down. Yeah, just get it down. Pop it on there. Use a variety of different colours wherever you want them to be. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then what you're going to do is give your cardstock a spritz. Uh huh. So you're going to give that a, priming it, giving it a little bit of moisture. And what that's going to do is make it ready to pick up the ink. And then you pop that into what you've just scribbled onto your mat. Pick it up. Pop it around. Oh, and you yeah. see by doing that, you get those lovely um, movement on mm. the cardstock. So you can do that like a marble effect. So that's another way you can do a background. Or... Alternatively, oh, cool, you are flying through these, aren't you? You can also. I've got another. I've got a little piece here to show you this one. Yep. You can scribble it down. Just scribble a couple very quickly for you, and I won't finish it off, but I just wanted to show you. And then you can pick it up with your brush and detail 
splodge it. And just, it, I mean, this, this could not be any more, I mean, I'm not being careful. You know, I'm just splodging it on there. Yeah. And you will keep doing that and you'll build up the layers over the top and then dry it. When you do that, that is the background you will create. And it looks amazing, doesn't it, when it, once it's dried. Yeah. And then to actually colour with this, and I'm flying to show you this, because I'll just show you this next bit, because it's so incredibly fabulous and easy to do. Stamped image here. Go in with your pen, just at one side. So you can see I've done that there, and then I'm going to do this here. Adding some colour directly with the pen. Then take your detailed paintbrush, dip it into your water with a piece of kitchen towel, take the excess off and then just move that out. Awesome. And when you just put it at one side and then you agitate it across, you naturally get that watercolour light and shade feel. That looks like a piece of artwork in seconds. And you've done that by just adding some colour at one side, dragging it to the next side. It really could not be more simple. The same with the green up here for the compost. And you see, what one of my um, tips to you would be, vary the length of your lines. Okay. You see how I've done that? That gives it a more natural feel. Dampen your brush, agitate it out, and you are done and dusted. And that is all I've done to do this. Wow, yeah. Well, what a brilliant way to finish off um, our craft vault. There you go, that Earth Collection 649 or 897 half price deals. Uh, these deals, I think they stay live for 48 hours, don't they? Is that right? Like yeah, 48 hours. Um, so you have still got time, but um, don't don't delay or while stocks last, because we have seen some things go limited stock, uh, and I'm sure after this show, uh, more people will be buying as well. The metallic markers, the metallic pens are absolutely flying out of the door. Uh, some last few comments um, from June saying, I learned so much from you, from you Leanne. A happy birthday. Uh, loads of love for the beautiful Leanne. Thank you so much for sharing your special day with us. Um, and four holidays on YouTube saying, OMG, so much good information, Leanne. We are lucky that you share your wealth of knowledge with us. I agree with all of those. What a brilliant, brilliant afternoon it's been. What a brilliant day it's been as well. Um, Leanne, when are we going to have the pleasure of your company again? I'm back on Tuesday and Wednesday next week. Awesome stuff. Well, I will um, see you on Wednesday because that is when I am back. Um, and listen, I think from uh, me and from everybody, you are going to have a, uh, a brilliant evening, probably some gin and some Frexinet. A little bit of Frexinet, why not? I mean, all the classy birds do have Frexinet, Ben. <laughs> um, Leanne, thank you so much. Absolutely brilliant. Um, Leanne's off to enjoy her birthday evening. Um, I am back with you, as I say, on Wednesday next week. I shall look forward to that. Uh, thank you for joining us. Big thank you to the team as well, Tracy, George and Laura, making it all very easy for us. Enjoy the rest of your day and we'll catch you back here tomorrow on Crafters. TV. Bye for now.